Oz here, coming to you from my living room in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm sorry, but I have been living in airplanes and in my car the past few months. It's been a great time. I've been to London uh, for the Global Excel Summit, went to Vienna for, uh, to hang out with our favorite MVP, Layla Garani. And I did an interview with her and I will put a link to that. Hopefully you'll check it out. Wow, ah, where else? I've been to Bulgaria for Excel days. That was a blast. And then there was the MVP summit. I drove up to Redmond, Washington. That wound up being a three week road trip. So a lot has been going on, but I am still here. And what are we gonna talk about today? The new pivot by function. Now you know how I operate. I I'm not going to just show you the plumbing of pivot by. I'm going to show you how it works and I'm going to show you some things to watch out for some traps because if I just showed you the plumbing of pivot by, I would just be showing you tricks. I want to make you competent. I don't want anybody to ever say, whoo child, that person is full of tricks, but they're as useless as a chocolate teapot. No, not here. So let's get into pivot by. Here I've got this data. We got names, shifts, and hours. All right, it goes down there. We got the values and I'm going to jump into pivot by equals pivot by double click. What do I want in the rows? I'm going to put the names in the rows. Comma. What column fields do I want? The afternoon, evening, morning, overnight data. Comma, what values? These are values here. Comma, now, what function do we want? We're typically gonna use sum, but we do have a lot of other ones that we can use. We've got max, min, percent of, but let's do sum, S-U-M, and then close parentheses, enter. That's pretty slick. Got Carmelita, Denise, Martin, Narcissa, Olivia. All right, we can see that Carmelita did five hours on a morning shift, five on an afternoon shift for a total of 10 hours, total of 13 and a half hours for evening shift. Right, pretty cool. I'm gonna get rid of this data here. Delete, delete, and I want a comma here. Now watch, enter. Now I can see the total hours per shift and the overall total. But look at something strange. This is in alphabetical order. Afternoon, evening, morning, overnight. That makes no sense. I would want morning, afternoon, evening, overnight, but I can't move these. If I try to move this down, I can't move these. But if I do a basic pivot table, cursor to data set, insert, pivot table, okay. I want shift and then hours and boost this up. This is already in order. I didn't have to move anything, but if I did want to move it, if I wanted to say have overnight up top, I can move that. It makes sense. Can't do anything with this. All right, but there are some other things that we can do. Let's do this here, equals, pivot by, 
double click. Let's put the names in the rows, comma, column fields, here, comma, values, comma, let's do percent of, double click, and enter. All right, I already had these fields formatted as percentages, but we can see that Carmelita did 13% of the total hours. Let's see, got to change this to percentages. All right, there we go. We can also change this to max, enter. Now I have to change these. numbers all right now we can see that denise had two overnight shifts and the max is the five and a half let's look at something else i've got the names these groups whether these people are available or not and their years of being involved here we go equals Pivot by, double click, row fields. Let's put the groups, comma, column fields, whether they're available or not, comma, values right here, comma, function. I want count A and enter equals pivot by, double click, row fields, comma, column fields, comma, the values, comma, and I want count and enter. With count, I've got a total of 13. With count A, which is one of my favorite functions, but it's doing something strange that I'm gonna explain. We've got a 14 here. We're doing a count A on the values. Now, if I highlight here, we can see that we've got 14 values here. We've got 13 values here because Ephraim's years of experience are missing but if I put a zero in here now both show 14 but we had a blank now pivot by and count are showing 13 very strange let's scroll down here and do this equals count open parentheses these values and enter equals count A these values and enter both are showing 13 and we know we've got 14 records total so what is happening with count A let me explain I found a long time bug in Excel. I stumbled upon it and I talked with one of the engineers that makes Excel. I was up at the, at the uh, MVP summit and it was explained to me that there is something strange with count A. But let's look at it this way. Very simple. Let's say we've got these members and we wanna know how many members are bringing guests. Now I can do it this way, equals count A, open parentheses, highlight and enter. Four members of the six are bringing guests. But what if I do it this way, equals transpose, here 
and enter. Now transpose needs something to deal with the blanks. So it puts zeros in. Now watch, if I go over here and go equals count A, boom, and enter, now I have six. I didn't know count A did that until I started playing with pivot by. Before we get out of here, I want to show you something. I, I lied to you or, or I, I tricked you with something. When that pivot table automatically sorted, you know, morning, afternoon, evening, overnight, it wasn't because Excel was so smart. Let me show you what I did in preparation for this and in trying to see if pivot by would help us. I'm going to go over here to shifts and just click in that data set, sort, sort order, custom list, morning, afternoon, evening, overnight. I had already done that in the background. So, all right, if your pivot table didn't automatically sort that way, that's why. There it is, pivot by some treats and some tricks to make you competent with Excel and your data.